Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and honeygirlsworld.com. Today I'm coming to you guys with another true crime missing persons type of video. It is a Tuesday and I figured that I would go ahead and do another one this, this week. Um, my thought process with these is that I would do one or two a month because I do do a lot of other types of videos as well. Um, so, you know, my goal is though to have these videos released on Tuesdays. So I'm coming to you guys with another True Crime Tuesday video. And if you're interested to learn more about this person, then definitely keep on watching. Hey guys, so as I stated in my intro video, today we are going to be doing another True Crime Tuesday video. And today's video is going to be about a young man by the name of David Alex. David was born in 1996. Um, he moved to Maui on November 1st of 2016 from Crystal Lake, Illinois. And, you know, he currently worked for or at that time worked for office max or office depot um and transferred from crystal lakes location here to maui and he relocated here he was not here for very long when he had gotten into a moped accident on november 8th According to records, um, David's mom had stated that the last time she spoke to him was on November 5th. Um, he was doing really well, getting adjusted to everything. And then he got into his moped accident on November 8th. He was last seen on that day by Maui Police Department when they went and they took his, um, you know, they took down the report and so forth. While Maui Police Department was there, and I will go ahead and import pictures um, as needed, Maui Police Department had stated that um, while he was involved in the motorcycle or the moped accident, he expressed that he was not injured and the moped was damaged, but no one really knows to what extent it was. Um, David's cell phone was actually broken in the accident itself and um it wasn't able to be used a few days later um or not a few days later the following day david failed to show up to work so his co-workers at the local office max slash office depot actually called and reported him as missing that happened on november 9th um and that's when the reports were filed on November 11th, 2016, the same year, David used or attempted to use his credit cards to purchase a replacement phone from the one that had broken. And when he did that, this was at our local Kmart. Kmart's no longer open anymore. But when he attempted to do so, um, he entered in the incorrect pin so it would not let him make the purchase once he had gone missing and so forth his family um, and other people had stated that they worried that he may have had cognitive type issues he may have hit his head because of the moped accident no one is really sure as to what you know what had happened throughout that time so because of that it really, you know, it, it caused issues. He didn't show up for work and then they really didn't see him thereafter. So um, David Alex's family members flew down from Chicago or I'm sorry, from Illinois um, to try to find their, their loved one. And they weren't able to... Um, get in touch with him they were not able to find him um they believe that david may be panhandling to keep up with any financial needs that he has 
um, and he may be living among the homeless and on the streets. There have been a number of different sightings or supposed sightings by the local community. Um, June 5th, someone in 2017, someone had stated that they thought they seen him in Kihei, which is on the south side of the island. Um, on May 30th of 2017, he was spotted in Kahului and there is just a number of different places people have said they've seen him at our local Walgreens they've seen him at our by our local McDonald's um, all within the Kahului town so you know as I'm driving around and looking places I'm constantly looking to see if I may spot him now there are a number of different pictures or two different pictures that you may see floating around Facebook one of the pictures shows him where he was still back in Illinois and then the most recent one which I will put in was taken the day of his accident along with his moped now David Alex has missed birthdays holidays his only sister's wedding and the thing is is that the family is really thinking that he may have suffered from some form of cognitive issues or you know he may have hit his head um he may not know what's happening what's going on because this is out of his con character he um he's just the family's close he always cut, kept in contact with them and so they're really worried about where he could be. Is he okay? Um, David was last seen wearing a long sleeve blue colored shirt with gray surf shorts or board shorts, um, black tennis shoes, and a green colored baseball hat or cap. He has a black and silver moped. Um, we are unknown of the make and model, but you can go ahead and see some of the pictures that I inputted here. Um, and I don't know. Hey guys, so this is post editing, honey. I just wanted to put in a little detail here. Um, his mom had stated in a video that was released out to the public that David's moped is either black or it could possibly be a dark blue with silver trim. So I wanted to make sure to input that just in case whether or not he still has that moped so here is some information on david for you to keep your eyes open for him um as i stated before there are a lot of people who have said they've seen him over the course of the last couple of years it has been 2016 so approximately almost five years since he had gone missing and his family just wants to know answers if he decides that he wants to stay on the streets if he doesn't want to be found that's fine they just really want to know you know if he's okay is everything all right and as a mom i completely understand i apologize my neighbors are renovating their house and so you'll you'll hear banging and so forth um, David Alex is five feet, eight inches tall. He is approximately 150 to 160 pounds. He's Caucasian um, with a thin build. If you look at some of the original pictures that they posted, he was a little, little bigger or bigger than um, the pictures that was taken on the day of his accident, but he is a thinner build right now he has brown hair and brown eyes david is english speaking but he also can speak polish um so he he is bilingual and you know no one who had seen him or had stated that they've seen him has stated whether or not um, he seemed coherent or anything of the sort. Many sightings say that they do see him using very similar clothes from what he had on the day that he had gone missing. Um, but he had a little bit of a grayish colored beard growing in, um, a, a tad bit scruffy, but that he was polite and essentially holding a sign asking for food or money. So, you know, there's a lot of issues in this situation in that we don't know if he needs medical attention. Um, we're not sure how he's eating. 
whether or not he's living on the streets among the homeless community or what have you but there is a family that is looking for their son their brother their grandson etc um there is a fifteen hundred dollar reward um, for information that leads to the recovery or the um, to David Alex himself and the family as well as the family's advocate who is Kimberlyn Scott is asking that if you do see him to go to the missing David Alex Facebook page and let them know the location, what time you've seen them, but also take a picture or a video. You do not need to approach this person, but if you are able to safely take a video or picture, take that, post that to the page so that they can send someone that's locally here to find David. Um, Kimberlyn's number is 2057758. If you are familiar with that name, um, or you may not be, Kimberlyn Scott is a family advocate for family members who have loved ones who have gone missing. Um, she, she's just awesome. A lot of the cases that I have shared with you guys, missing on Maui cases, um, she's actually been working with the family due to her own um, her own sad story as well that that um you know she's doing everything in her power for these families and i really really appreciate that thank you very much kimberlyn um so she is the on island family advocate david alex was only here for a couple of days before whatever happened to him happened and right now the family is looking for answers and they just want more information so i'm going to go through his stats yet again one more time again david alex he was born in 1996 um and moved to maui on november 1st of 2016. he did get in to a moped accident on November 8th and then was reported missing on November 9th by his co-workers because he failed to come to work. Um, on 11-11 or November 11th of 2016, so a few days after his accident, he did attempt to use his credit card at our local Kmart, which is no longer there anymore, um, but he wasn't able to because he he entered an incorrect pin now there's a number of things that i think about when i think about things like that if he entered an incorrect pin then there is definitely a possibility that he is suffering from cognitive issues um concussion anything along those lines after having an accident and since then there have been a number of different sightings again he's five eight or five feet eight inches tall approximately 150 to 160 pounds. He has a thin build, Caucasian, and he has brown hair, brown eyes. As I stated before, people have seen him um, or at least said that they've seen him. There's been possible sightings where he may have a goatee or beard. Um, and if you do happen to talk to David Alex, he can speak more than one language. So he speaks English as well as Polish. He may be living among the homeless community and ultimately we don't know. Um, I wanted to touch base a little bit on all of these things since I'm having a video here and I have the platform to do so. Give me one second. I really, really want to stress that I want to be able to share local Maui cases with everyone to get the word out. Um, family members need closure and if they don't get closure then they need their loved one so you know we can do our part by sharing this information liking the pages sharing any updates and keeping our eyes out after doing research you know I've I've actually followed a number of different missing persons or unsolved cases in the state of Hawaii. And you would think because we are such a small island chain in the middle of the Pacific Ocean that we really wouldn't have that much going on. But as I stated in one of my other videos, Hawaii has a 
a pretty big dark side. Um, if people search, you know, we have had what they call the um, Honolulu Strangler, which is on another island. We've had a number of different people go missing and just a lot of things happen here and they've been happening here for years everything from um cases that just had gone cold there have been a lot of murders possible suicides turned into murder just a number of different things happen here and while we are a relatively small community the fact of the matter is is that um you know it's somebody's brother or sister or daughter or son and I want to be able to use my platform to get the word out on some of these things. Now my thought process on doing True Crime Tuesdays is that I would focus a good chunk of things on missing persons here on Maui as well as in the state of Hawaii but as I stated before um, I am a true crime addict I listen to podcasts, I watch videos, and a number of different things. So there are cases that I have been following for years um, that I will likely touch base on as well. I don't know where this is going to go in the future, but it's something that I do enjoy talking about. And it kind of makes things, you know, where we're bringing more attention. But a lot of times people don't realize that we're we're dehumanizing people and this is a good way for us to to bring attention to it but also to give them a voice um everybody has their story and i am going to spend a day one day sharing with you guys why i am such a huge follower of true crime cases and what my personal story is at this time right now um i i'm not going to but I have been following true crime since um, Adam Walsh way back in the day. Um, a number of other different cases really stand out to me. Some anger me in its entirety and they're chilling to the bone. But there are a lot of local cases here on Maui especially that... You know, people just don't realize. You don't hear a lot of. I've been doing a lot of research over the course of the last couple of weeks since my first video that I released. And I realized that really there's not a lot. I said this in my first video. You don't see a lot of information and coverage on these things other than the local news. And then when you're researching the local newspaper or the local online news site, um, oftentimes it's one small paragraph stating the stats of this person without actually sharing the story. So that's my thought process um, in this all. I have a number of different cases that I'm working on and I'm actually going to go ahead and um, try to put together a form so that if you have a case you want me to take a look at, I can go ahead and get some information. The more information, the better. Um, as I stated, there's not a lot, a lot out there. I understand that I do have a lot of followers outside of Hawaii, the continental U.S. and worldwide. Um, and while I'm not always covering situations scenarios or cases that are outside of Hawaii again any type of word gets out and it's better than not having anything awareness is definitely key um, having everybody's eyes open to the subject is as well if I cover a case that you have any addition, additional information that you would like to share with the family or something that might lead to to this person um, that the case may be about. Again, check the description box below because I won't be listing any direct links, telephone numbers for family members, um, and then of course our local police department. If you want to remain anonymous for any reason, you can always contact your local Crime Stoppers and make a report that way. 
But if you happen to see David Alex out and about on the road somewhere on the island of Maui, please, please, please take a picture or a video and contact Kimberlyn or the Missing David Alex page as soon as possible. Make a notation of the date, the time, and the location, and the quicker the better. So if you had just spotted him, try to get that information out. We are in a day and age of social media and technology, and we need to get that information out because I'm just worried that, you know, he may have suffered an extreme hit on his head. And if that's the case, you know, he may not even realize where he's at or what he's doing. And it's been several years this family needs their loved one. So please, please help them. All the information will be listed down below. I want to thank you guys for joining me on another True Crime Tuesday case. Um, again, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Share this video with a friend or more or everybody to get the word out of Mr. David Alex. I hope you guys are having an awesome, most wonderful day and enjoying your week. I want to thank you guys for joining me here today. If you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification on your way out as well. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.